You know how most people struggle to pick really fast on guitar? Well, there's lots of reasons for this, but here's the mistake I see most often with my guitar practice clients. It's called never looking at your picking hand. Most guitarists either just look out in front of them while practicing or they only look at their fretting hand and they ignore the picking hand like it's panhandling them for money. Why is this a problem? Well, let's think about this. Your picking hand is one half of what makes your guitar playing possible. So what do you think happens if you ignore half of your guitar playing mechanism? Well, if you have a lot of natural talent, you may instinctively figure out the best way to pick for maximum speed anyway. But if you're like me, or if you're like most guitar players, you will probably develop a garbage truckload of bad habits in your picking hand. Habits that make fast picking feel like running with your shoelaces tied together. And speaking for myself, not only was I born without any natural talent, but I was also born left-handed, which means I had to work harder than most people to develop my picking speed to the level it is today. Fast forward to today, I'm not the world's fastest guitar player, but I am pretty happy with where my picking speed is today. And I want to give you a few simple tips to help you pick faster as well. Tip number one, for the next week, spend 100% of your practice time looking only at your picking hand. Make your motions as efficient as possible and keep your pick as close as possible to the strings between notes. Any distance your pick makes away from the strings is wasted motion that's slowing you down. Some motion away from the strings is unavoidable, such as when you're skipping strings, but most of the time you can make your motions smaller. And when you do that, your speed goes up and you make fewer mistakes. The second thing to pay attention to is tension in your picking hand. Start with your shoulder, then move on down to your triceps, biceps, forearm, and wrist. You can easily tell if your shoulder is tense just by looking in the mirror or by video recording your practice sessions. And if you see that your right shoulder is higher than your left shoulder, like a seesaw, it means it's way too tense. So relax it and make the shoulders level with each other. You're going to need to remind yourself to relax your shoulder many times when you practice until it becomes a habit. You want your shoulders to be in a T formation with your body. And when you relax your shoulder, the rest of your arm becomes much easier to relax as well. The third thing to pay attention to is how your pick feels inside of your grip. You want the pick to be stable and firm inside your grip without using any more pressure than necessary to hold it in place. If you hold the pick like this and when you play it wobbles in your grip, that's a big problem. You're not going to be able to pick fast this way because your hands will be out of sync because of all this wobbling that the pick is doing. So tuck the pick deeper inside of your grip so that it stays in place for each note but at the same time you're not squeezing it like a vice because it's just simply stable enough to begin with. Here's how I hold the pick. I put it on the side of my index finger, like this, and I put my thumb on top of it. And if you look closely, you can see that the edge of the pick is actually pressing into the web of my thumb. It's somewhere between the thumb and the index finger. And this allows me to keep the pick very firmly in place without any doing any wobbling or moving around, but I'm also not having to squeeze the pick very hard at all to keep it in place. So after you spend the next week looking only at your picking hand and get in the habit of looking at your picking hand while you practice, what next? Moving forward, split your time between focusing on the picking hand and your fretting hand. Remember that whatever hand you're focusing on, your eyes need to be looking at that hand to make sure you're training all the right motions with the right technique, with the right efficiency, and the right habits are constantly being reinforced into your muscle memory. This is how you improve the most in the shortest amount of time. If you like this video, do two things right now. At the link below, you can get a recording of a 60 minute guitar speed masterclass where I show you how to actually practice to build your speed. Having efficient technique is a good place to start, but it's only one piece of your guitar speed puzzle. You can click the link to learn more for free right now. Second, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified every single time I post videos just like this on how you can make more progress with less practice. Have fun practicing your guitar and I'll see you very soon.